It's Christmas time, and President Trump already knows what he wants from Santa. A big, shiny border wall. Although, let's be honest, Santa is not gonna give it to him, because if there's one person who's on the naughty list, it's Trump. Yeah. Santa's like, oh, you've been a naughty boy this year, Donald. You put children in cages. He's like, oh, yeah, I've been so naughty. I've been a bad boy. <laughs> but, are you making this sexual? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Spank me, Santa. Spank me with the naughty list. Ho, 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 hold up, hold up. <laughs> but because Trump's not gonna get his will from Santa, he only has one other option. Negotiate with the Democrats. President Trump clashing with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer over border security during an explosive sit-down. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, together with the president, clashed big time over border wall funding. With a December 21st deadline to avoid a government shutdown, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking and you send in Donald Trump? Why would you send Donald Trump into the fuse of bomb? He's gonna make it worse. He'd be like, there are 270 seconds left on the countdown. Just like the 270 votes I got, in my tremendous electoral card. Did I tell you about the time? When it happened, don't worry about this. Let me tell you about the time. <laughs> they said I couldn't do it, folks. But yes, Trump is demanding $5 billion for a border wall. And as you can imagine, Democrats would rather release Obama's original Kenyan birth certificate <laughs> than give Trump <laughs> that wall money. Which is why this meeting turned into an absolute mess. You want to shut it down. I, no, you keep no, talking no, no, about no. it. The last time, Chuck, you shut it down. No, no, no. And then you opened 20 it up times. very quickly. And 20 times. I don't want to do what you did. You have the vote. You should pass no, it. No, we don't have now. the vote, Nancy, because in the Senate, we need 60 no, votes. No, no, but in the House. And we don't you have. You could bring it up right now. Yeah, but I then... can't, excuse me, not threaten to shut down the government, because you, you let me just finish, because you can't get your way. If we have border security, if we don't have border security, Chuck, we're not going to keep it up. You just said it is effective. Can I be, can I tell you something? Yeah, you just said Without it's Without a wall... House Democrats who just won a big victory. Elections but have me, consequences, Mr. Just, President. Let me just say... That's right. And that's why the country is doing so well. You can do border security without a wall, which is wasteful and doesn't solve the problem. It, it totally solves but the I problem. And we've gained in the Senate. Up. Nancy, we've morale. gained in the Senate. Excuse me, now, did we win the Senate? We won the Senate. Senate. When the President brags that he won North Dakota and Indiana, he's in real trouble. Okay. <laughs> Why does Chuck Schumer keep talking to the camera? <laughs> They're having an argument, and he's like a character in an episode of The Office. He's like, now the president is doing this right now. <laughs> but honestly, watching these three go at it for 20 minutes, it felt like being in the, in the TV room of a nursing home, which is old people fighting. It's my turn with the remote. You had the remote yesterday. I don't like Rachel Ray. She's too ethnic. Give me that remote. <laughs> and my favorite part, of this awkward threesome was <laughs> Mike Pence. <laughs> because you might not have even noticed him. Because he didn't say a word the entire time. He just sat there motionless, like a guy whose edibles just kicked in. It was just like... <laughs> I mean, like, you, you gotta wonder what he was thinking about while everyone was arguing. He was probably just daydreaming about, I don't know, whatever it is that Mike Pence daydreams about. We're gonna keep it open if we have border security. If we don't have border security... <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Seems about right. Anyway, this, this meeting went on for a while, and by the end, they hadn't come any closer to an agreement. And the reason there was so much bickering wasn't just the war, right? It's that if they don't agree on a government funding bill, it could lead to a partial government shutdown, right? Which would mean things like the FBA, uh, the, the FDA would stop inspecting food plants, right? The SEC would halt new investigations and hundreds of thousands of government workers wouldn't get paid. Like everything from the FBI agents all the way to the TSA. Yeah, and if the TSA doesn't get paid, that might put them in a bad mood. Yeah, that's right. You've been seeing them in a good mood. <laughs> Whenever you're at the airport, that's them in like a really, like if they're in a bad mood, they're gonna be like, hey, do you have a gun on you? And you'd be like, no, and they'll be like, here, take this one. <laughs> so needless to say, no politician wants to take the blame for a government shutdown. But Donald Trump is not a politician. Donald Trump is a moron. 
We do not want to shut down the government. We want to come to an agreement. We're coming in in good faith to negotiate with you about how we can keep the government open. We Tell disagree. You what, I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck, because the people of this country don't want criminals and people that have lots of problems and drugs pouring into our country. So I will take the mantle. I will be the one to shut it down. I'm not going to blame you for it. The last time you shut it down, it didn't work. I will take the mantle Good. of shutting down. I don't know if you realize how monumental this moment is. Donald Trump just agreed to take blame for something. <laughs> this is the same guy who keeps Mike Pence around just to blame farts on. You realize that, right? <laughs> Trump is running around eating hard-boiled eggs like, ew, gross, Mike, you have a problem. <laughs> Yes, sir, I'm disgusting. So today, today, I'm proud of President Trump because taking blame shows some personal growth on his part. Although, if we're being honest, he probably just thinks that if the government shuts down, there'll be nobody there to impeach him, which is the second thing he asked Santa for.